Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. South Africa 41, Wales 13. The perfect start to the Springboks season after a shaky first half, responding in the second half and ending up with a very dominant performance over at Twickenham. Some very memorable debuts, none more so than Edwell van der Merwe, who walked away with a man of the match on debut, a try and an incredible defensive performance from the Lions wing. Uh, overall, a good game for South Africa. Room for improvement and a lot of rust being shaken out, um, but eventually sort of kicked into gear. And at the end of the day, it was about getting out there. It was about getting minutes under the belt. It was about getting players like Malcolm Marks back onto the field. So job done as far as Rusty Erasmus is concerned. Before we break the game down, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, it was a bit of a strange game. It was an early penalty miss from Jordan Hendricks, who had a bit of a... Shaky start to the game uh, on a debut, starting at 10 for the box. A, a pack that at one stage was going forward and then sort of started to struggle a little bit. Um, but uh, we eventually got our, uh, well, not eventually, it took three minutes to get uh, things underway with Jesse Creel going over in the third minute. Uh, drawn pass, Hendricks to Fassi to uh, Creel to Mapimpi. Ball back inside from Mapimpi to Jesse Creel, who went over. Jordan Hendricks this time making no mistake to make it seven points to nil. However, after that, we kind of let Wales back in a little bit um, with a penalty for Sam, Sam Costello. But uh, a double blow for Wales. Yellow card in, this, in the 10th minute, which was a... Just before we scored in the 14th minute, which ended up being a penalty try. Uh, so Rio Dyer, Aaron Wainwright out and uh, with 13 men actually conceded points. Um, sorry, I didn't concede points. didn't score any points. Um, with a penalty try in the 14th minute. As mentioned, 14 points to three. Before Apleta Fassi then got uh, binned. In the 29th minute uh, for a high boot, but bit sloppy, but about the only thing he ever did wrong. Really good game from Apple Fassi. Um, and then a bit of a weird try. Uh, Wales had the momentum, and in uh, the 29th minute from the, the resultant uh, lineup from the yellow card to Apple Fassi, Eben Etzebet actually stole the lineup, but then nobody managed to, to jump on it. The ball actually falling to Dewey Lake, who went over before Sam Costello added an extra three points in the 34th minute to make it 14 points to 13. Um, so not the best first half, a bit shaky. A couple of players who maybe weren't quite on it. Jordan Hendricks uh, struggled a little bit in the first half, defended very well. Um, tell you what, he's like an inside center the way he defends. Cannot ever complain about that. But um, one missed, missed kick, a uh, couple of, of shaky passes as well. Uh, so we needed a bit more of a assured second half and that we did that. It was a perfect start. Marcus on Pimpy going over in the corner in the 41st minute. Uh, Hendricks are adding the extras and very nice conversion of that. And then a very nice three point in the 49th minute as well. It looked a lot better in the second half, did Jordan Hendricks. Uh, I think just kept it a bit simple and um, that worked for him. And, and I think we'll see a lot more of him in the years to come. Uh, Sasha Bamberg Gobazulu then replaced him in about the 64th minute, got his first test points in um, the 65th minute. Mongi Manambi went over for a more try in the 65th um, and then another another one, sorry, 68 minute rather than 65th. And uh, Farmer Gomez did it with another uh, good kick there. And then Edel van der Merwe, well, he was having a great game anyway. And then they just needed one last thing just to really prove his worth. And that was a terrific try. Um, a bit of space opening up in the midfield. Big step away from a bit of a mismatch away from one of the Welsh props. Bang straight through the middle. Had the presence of mind and the speed to remain calm. Ran straight in under the poles. Dived at the right time. Perfect finish. The extras coming from the route of Sasha Fambo and Gomazulu. 41 points to 13. Job done, as mentioned. Let's go through some of the stats, actually. And one thing I will say, I think we did see a bit of a different style of play from the box. Definitely trying to keep the ball a bit in hand a bit more. Um, Territory-wise, we actually had less territory, which is not a stat we actually often dominate. Had more possession. Um, the set pieces, scrums, you were very dominant. Didn't always get reward, but very dominant. Uh, lineups were 75%. Malcolm Marks maybe not at his best just yet, coming back from injury. Um, restarts were fine, though. In the attack, we had 312 post-contact meters to 123 from Wales. Uh, 113 carries, seven line breaks. Doesn't really read like a traditional Springbok performance, does it? Um, in terms of penalties conceded, discipline not great from either side. 12 by Springboks, 15 from Wales, two yellow cards from Wales, one from the box. In terms of the defense... 94% tackle completion from the box. Really impressive stuff. Just six tackles missed of the 98, whereas Wales missed 21 of the last 115. Uh, the kick, total kicks from hand, 22, 23. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, that's said. In terms of carries, up in the fast with 13. Evan Lewis with nine. Dewey Lake, I thought, was superb 
with nine as well. In terms of line breaks, Edel Panamova topped the chart with two. Tackles completed, by the way. Ben Carter is 16. Tame Plumtree with 13. Franco Moss appears to have the toy. Your usual suspects when it comes to Safka with 11. Uh, Jordan Hendricks has six as well. And uh, Edel Panamova with a really good defense performance there as well. Some very key tackle carries as well. Uh, in terms of meters carried, Fassi 78, Evan Rose 78, Edel Panamova 71. Uh, the top three there. Defenders beaten. Edel Panamova with four. Quaker Smith with three. Uh, what a performance from Edel van Merwe. Other debutants, Sash Farmer Gomez Zulu didn't have much to do. Had a knock on, um, but kicked pretty well. Um, Jordan Hendricks uh, had a slow start. A couple of knock ons from him. A bit shaky, but grew into the game. Ben Jason Dixon off the bench looked very at home. And uh, yeah, as I said, Edel van Merwe looked like he'd been playing at this level for years. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.